everyone this is about implementing therapy advice had a client come a few weeks ago she uh, increased her running really quickly uh, getting back to her pre-baby uh, level is what she wanted to get to and hurt her knee and then pretty much couldn't put weight on her leg to walk and after assessing it, it was, I didn't, didn't, there was no meniscal or ligament damage uh, I had a pretty good idea what was going on and I released the, the popliteal muscle which is in the back of the knee it tends to wind up when the uh, the hamstrings get too weak or the uh, the calf is too weak, the foot maybe is not enough strength in the foot too and not enough core strength and glute strength so the, the knee then becomes a point of controlling rotation through the body because it doesn't have it in other places especially after doing a lot of exercise so she did a, a really long run uh, her body wasn't accustomed to it so she was, she was pretty worried about it too it was her first sort of major injury and um, and that's significant when you first have a major injury you don't know what's going to happen you don't know what, the, what potentially is going to how that's going to affect your life uh, will better run again and will affect all the reasons why you do run and all that sort of stuff. So um, a big part of the session was first of all showing her that it's just muscular and released, released the knee. Um, she could walk on it in about two minutes, um, maybe more than maybe about five minutes she could walk on. And then I just did the rest of the treatment after. Uh, so I showed her that that's all it was. So her body got the information, oh, this isn't a bad thing. And then we started talking about the uh, reasons why this was created. And a big one was, um, too much too soon so her body wasn't ready and she just gave it too much and that's a very common cause of injury and what it tends to do is to it really it cuts you in your tracks so um uh, we talked about that we talked about the the hamstring need to be strong the, the calf need to be strong enough to create like a bouncing force uh, running is a very ballistic activity it needs a certain amount of strength in the muscles and leg muscles in particular to um, to protect from injury for starters. So that needs to be built up over time. So I gave her a list of things for her. This is the reasons why the injury was there. These are the things that you can look at about why, while you're recovering, um, how you can prevent this in the future and how this is affecting your psychology and all that sort of stuff. So I gave her that list and she, I saw her today and she worked on all that stuff. She, she took it all to heart and uh, looked at it all wrote, all, wrote all the lessons down that was involved in that injury and come back today and she's awesome. Like her, she's really mentally good too. The injury didn't knock out her sails. Uh, and we're able to progress. We progressed the exercises big time today. We pressed, progressed her and, and, and enabled her to get back into running just slowly. And we talk about how we're gonna progress this and um, without injury and not too much too soon. And consistency is the main thing we're looking for. So it's a, a walk and run and next week a little bit uh, less walk, more run. So gradually progressing over about three months. Uh, and it was one of the most mature things I've ever seen someone do, first time injury and, um, and really bouncing back so well and not just bouncing back by going into, into denial of what happened but she actually went right into what are all the lessons inside this, uh, this event that I can learn from. So she used it all as a point of opportunity uh, which is a very mature thing to do. So um, she now has a lot of information of how to prevent injury in herself in the future and if she does get injured to go see someone quickly um, I hope that's useful to any of you, especially people who are dealing with injuries on a chronic basis or recurring injuries. Um, inadequate warm-up is a big part of, of injuries that keep happening, uh, any injury really, and not, the body not being warm enough and things like that. So poor conditioning is a big part of it, doing it too much too soon. Um, building up things over you know, a month is not quick enough. It's, 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 uh, it's too, too quick for a lot of people, a lot of conditions. So looking at a long-term goal and getting expert knowledge um, if you don't have it because a lot the worst thing about an injury is one that you can't come back from or it's making um uh, never fully heals i really believe a lot of injuries you can come back from pretty well but uh, but there's usually remnants left so if you can avoid injuries always better um, i hope that makes sense